Antoine Fuqua and Denzel Washington reunite for the final installment of the Equalizer trilogy, taking the franchise's thrilling action and captivating vigilante to a new setting. What fate awaits Robert McCall in Equalizer 3? In this third film, Robert finds himself on the brink of death after sustaining a gunshot wound during a covert mission in Sicily. A local doctor named Enzo comes to his rescue, allowing him to recover in a quaint Sicilian village. As Robert grows fond of the village and its people, he contemplates whether this could be a place of solace. However, his newfound tranquility is shattered when a local crime boss named Vincent instills fear among the townsfolk with his drug empire. Determined to protect his new community, Robert confronts Vincent, facing off against one of his most formidable opponents. Throughout The Equalizer 3, Robert grapples with his own demons while striving to shield those he holds dear. As the franchise concludes, Robert's humanity shines through as he wrestles with his past actions and embraces his role as protector. Brace yourself for the intense action that will leave audiences on edge. With this likely marking Washington's final appearance in the franchise, let's explore the conclusion of Robert's journey. In his quest to dismantle Vincent's empire, Robert seeks assistance from CIA agent Emma. However, Vincent's corrupt power and influence land Emma in the hospital, leaving Robert no choice but to take matters into his own hands. Whatever it is you and your friends do, do it somewhere else. Are you warning me? I'm preparing. After eliminating Vincent's brother Marco, Robert incurs Vincent's wrath, prompting a furious showdown in the village. Threatening the lives of the locals, Vincent demands Robert's surrender, forcing him to step out of the shadows and face his nemesis. Despite appearing outmatched, Robert finds unexpected allies among the villagers. Enzo takes a shot at Vincent, while others capture the conflict on their phones. Aware of the damaging implications, Vincent declares that his vendetta against Robert is far from over, a sentiment Robert reciprocates, initiating a harrowing final confrontation. As tensions between Vincent and Robert escalate, a climactic showdown becomes inevitable. Vincent and his men devise a plan, but Robert strikes first, infiltrating Vincent's mansion and systematically eliminating his guards. Unleashing his unyielding wrath, Robert decimates Vincent's entire entourage, leaving Vincent defenseless and at his mercy. Binding Vincent, Robert subjects him to his own nefarious drugs. With Vincent's time slipping away, Robert makes the unconventional decision to set him free, becoming an ever-present specter haunting his every move. Meanwhile, the village engages in a religious procession through the streets, an act that may symbolize forgiveness for Robert's actions or gratitude to a higher power for bringing him into their lives. Regardless, Robert remains relentless in his pursuit of Vincent, who lies on the brink of death in the deserted streets. After leaving Vincent for dead on the streets, Robert's actions result in Emma receiving accolades for dismantling Vincent's drug operation. The downfall of his corrupt empire brings a glimmer of hope for safer streets. Surprisingly, Robert pays a visit to Emma to explain his involvement in this affair. It turns out that while in Sicily, he embarked on a personal mission to recover stolen pension funds for a man he encountered while working as a lift driver. Little did he expect to stumble upon something more sinister than mere petty theft. Nevertheless, this experience has ignited a newfound sense of purpose within him, granting him a semblance of peace. However, one question remains unanswered. You don't want to play games with me. Just having my tea. As it turns out, Emma is the daughter of Robert's late colleague, Susan Plummer, a fact that Robert knew, enabling him to place his trust in her. The boost to Emma's career serves as Robert's way of assisting Susan's family long after her passing. Sometime later, Emma is seen returning the stolen pension funds to the man mentioned by Robert. Meanwhile, Robert finds solace in the community that has given his life newfound meaning, leaving his past behind. Throughout the Equalizer franchise, Robert has been a vengeful force. But in this third installment, his journey revolves around finding inner peace. Despite his unmatched combat skills and merciless demeanor, he is jolted back to reality when he is unexpectedly shot. Rarely caught off guard or faced with mortality, this near-death experience nearly drives him to the brink of self-destruction. However, Enzo's intervention and their subsequent arrival in a small village bring Robert the clarity and purpose he desperately needs. 
The kindness and compassion he witnesses in this town leave an indelible impact. For the first time in a long while, he discovers a sense of serenity and belonging. Because of these people, I'm beginning to understand real peace. Nonetheless, his anxieties resurface with Vincent's arrival, as Robert grapples with the fear of reverting to his old ways and tarnishing this idyllic haven. Initially, Robert chooses to step aside in an uncharacteristic move, determined not to disrupt the tranquility of this quaint paradise. However, an internal conflict arises within him, prompting him to question his role in this community and whether he can act without being perceived as a violent individual like Vincent. Ultimately, Robert realizes that taking action is preferable to standing idly by while those he cares for suffer harm. His actions solidify his position as a protector. Despite being forced to resort to force, he manages to earn the acceptance of the community. When Enzo takes on the responsibility of caring for Robert, he questions whether Robert is inherently good or bad. Robert's unsure response actually brings comfort to Enzo, who believes that the actions of a person speak louder than mere proclamations of goodness. This dynamic plays a significant role in Robert's character development throughout the franchise. As a vigilante, Robert has always operated in the gray area between good and evil. Although his intentions are noble, he shows no mercy to his adversaries, resulting in brutal and bloody confrontations. When confronted with the question of his morality, Robert's answer aligns with his personal crisis. He exists in a moral gray area, but this question offers a glimpse into his own perception of his morality. Ultimately, Robert finds a fresh start that allows him to leave his dark past behind and move forward as a better person. The Equalizer Three Inches not only delves into Robert's introspection on his own morality and lifestyle, but also emphasizes the power of community. Prior to arriving in this town, Robert was a loner, seeking to impose his own brand of justice. However, as he becomes acquainted with the people of the town, he witnesses the genuine care and communal living that he hasn't experienced in a long time. Even when faced with Vincent's horrific actions, the community rallies together to support and heal one another. Robert, who has been immersed in violence for so long, rediscovers the possibility of living in peace. This highlights the transformative impact of a positive-minded community and how it can change an individual. The uplifting nature of the people in this community influences Robert significantly, motivating him to put himself in harm's way to protect them. The Equalizer Three Inches serves as a reminder of the warmth that a strong sense of community and togetherness can bring, even to the most hardened hearts. The film also explores the idea of individuals transitioning from passive bystanders to active participants in affecting change. Initially, the townspeople live in fear of Vincent and his gang, despite their kindness and genuine interactions among themselves. Vincent's violent tactics and brutal killings intimidate and subdue them. Even when someone from the community is physically attacked, their response is limited to aiding in their recovery. Despite their numerical advantage, they are outmatched by Vincent's firepower and brutality. However, the presence of Robert in their lives inspires them. When Robert is willing to sacrifice himself to protect the townspeople from Vincent, Enzo steps in to ensure his safety, and the other civilians record Vincent's actions on their phones. This marks a significant shift as the community moves from passive bystanders to active participants united in their actions. Is this truly the end? Both Fuqua and Washington have affirmed that The Equalizer Three Inches concludes the trilogy, marking the likely conclusion of their collaboration in this franchise. Fuqua expressed a sense of melancholy in an exclusive interview with Looper, comparing the farewell to a breakup. He shared, as I sat there, witnessing it unfold on the grand screen, I couldn't help but think, oh man, I'm bidding farewell to Robert McCall. I don't want to let go. But all things come to a close. Similarly, Washington conveyed mixed emotions about parting ways with McCall in an interview with Empire, revealing that his character finds solace, a lovely town, and a sense of tranquility. It appears to be an appropriate stopping point. While another director could potentially helm a new installment or a spin-off centered around Emma, considering her story is just beginning, such plans seem unlikely, at least for the foreseeable future. Consequently, fans must anticipate this being Washington's final portrayal of Robert McCall on the big screen. However, perhaps there exists a way to resurrect the series' protagonist.
While discussions surrounding a sequel to The Equalizer Three Inches to further explore Robert's journey are absent, intriguing conversations have emerged regarding a potential prequel. In an interview with NME, Fuqua expressed interest in a prequel featuring a digitally de-aged Washington. Fuqua contemplated the utilization of de-aging technology in The Equalizer Three Inches, and has even conversed with franchise writer Richard Wenk about it. Nevertheless, de-aging AI is not the sole approach Fuqua envisions for a prequel. He emphasized the need for a conversation with Denzel, as well as the involvement of the studio. Fuqua also mentioned actors who could portray a younger Robert McCall, including Michael B. Jordan and John David Washington, the latter being Denzel's son, known for his roles in films such as Tenet and Beckett. Presently, no prequel is in production, but the possibilities remain open. It appears that Fuqua is willing to return for such a project, making it a plausible endeavor.